Hey, it's Dr. Schmidt. I went to another fantastic seminar given by a company called Cellcore Biosciences. I went six months ago to their first one. I'm going to show you some slides. These slides were prepared by one of their founders, uh, Dr. Jay Davidson. He's done a quite a few um, Lyme summits and viral summits, like online free learning courses where he interviews experts. And so let's get into the subject right away. This is a new way to look at how the body heals itself. We're talking about cells in particular and how if you get stuck in this healing process, you end up with uh, predictable symptoms. There are four, uh, four parts of a cycle that each cell goes through in response to an immune problem like bacteria, virus, fungus, or a toxin, some kind of a stressor. So let's go over these four parts of this cycle and see what happens if you get stuck in one of them. The box right here says, there are three stages of the cell danger response. That's what, you're, what we're talking about, CDR, cell danger response. There are stages one, two, and three, and they comprise the healing cycle. These stages are triggered by stress or injury and controlled by changes in mitochondrial function and metabolism. So the mitochondria of the cells control where the cell's at in response to some kind of a stressor. Now two thirds or three quarters of the cell is filled up with mitochondria. You have 2,000 up to 15,000 mitochondria per average cell. So don't just, don't just think of a cell as being a cell membrane with my, one mitochondrion and one nucleus. That's what we're taught in grade school, but there's way more than that. All right, let's go over the circle. See at the top it's green, and then it's red on your right side, blue at the bottom, yellow on the left. The green part says wakeful activity. It says in the red font, in integrated oxidative phosphorylation, aerobic glycolysis and glycolysis. That means you have metabolic flexibility. That means you can use sugar as your fuel. You can use it, um, the electron transport chain and the Krebs cycle to make fuel, meaning ATP, and your body's functioning well. That's why, we talk, that's why I talk about uh, fasting and ketosis and then getting out of ketosis by burning sugar, like eat a couple apples to get out of ketosis. So um, metabolic flexibility is this green state, and it's very healthy to be in that state. On the red, now you have some sort of a, a stress, injury, toxin, infection, adjuvant. That means um, a chemical poisons added to vaccines. That's an adjuvant. It activates the immune system, metals, and pollution. So that is where the red is, the beginning of the red part of that cycle. It says EATP is increased. What that means is that the ATP leaves the cells and goes into uh, the tissues, into the blood to activate the immune system. So now you have your immune system activated. It's trying to contain the stressor or the, you know, the problem. And now we have at the bottom blue. If you're stuck in blue, you have symptoms that's late listed down there. And I'll get into more symptoms later with more slides. Granuloma, gliosis, fibrosis, scarring, mechanical strain, and you have excess DNA damage. So you want to make sure that the cycle is continuing all the way around. Restful sleep is important. And making sure that you're eating the right foods to heal your body and resting uh, is, is very important. On the left, we have yellow. If you're stuck in yellow, this is the last phase. You get autoimmune problems. Uh, chronic pain, neurologic, and psychiatric problems. So let's get into more details about this. Regarding these steps, for any given cell, one step in the healing cycle cannot be entered until the previous step has been completed. So your cells are going through this all the time, and uh, you just don't want them to be stuck in any one spot. If you are stuck in the first phase where your immune system is being triggered, here's the symptoms that you get. Allergies, asthma, Sarcoidosis, which is clumps of inflammatory cells in the organs. Um, skin problems and like ringworm and various changes in your skin, whether it's um, on your feet or on your scalp or if you have bumps in your beard or something like that. That's where you get, that's the symptoms you get when you're stuck in CDR1, cell defense response step one. Here's an example of how your skin could look if you're stuck in CDR1. And here's another example right here, tinea versicolor. Rashes like this on your body, or like this. More CDR1 disorders are infections, chronic infections, aspergillosis, that's black mold poisoning, candidiasis, yeast, chronic yeast, 
chlamydia, toxoplasmosis, uh, bartonellosis, that's like Lyme, syphilis, Lyme disease is listed next, H. pylori, gastric upset. These are chronic infections where your body's constantly fighting an organism. If you get stuck in CDR2, cell defense response 2, you can, you can have diabetes, hypertension, heart disease, dyslipidemia, which is like high cholesterol, high triglycerides, inflammatory bowel disorders like Crohn's, ulcerative colitis, cirrhosis of the liver, uh, which includes non-alcoholic uh, cirrhosis of the liver, pulmonary fibrosis, uh, benign prostate uh, hyperplasia, meaning your prostate is enlarged, and cancers and leukemias. If you're stuck in cell defense response stage three, now you have deeper disorders. These are a bit more serious. Not that the stage two disorders are not serious, but now we're talking uh, deep neurological problems like autism, uh, POTS, which is um, when you sit up and you lose your blood pressure and you get faint. Uh, pans and pandas, those are types of infections. Chronic fatigue syndrome, post-traumatic stress disorder, fibromyalgia. These are chronic conditions that people have for years and decades because they're stuck in CDR3. Obsessive compulsive disorder, generalized anxiety disorder, major depressive disorder, bipolar, schizophrenia, migraine headaches, Parkinson's and Alzheimer's, MS, scleroderma, Sjogren's, which is like an infection in the mouth that's usually like a yeast, polymyalgia rheumatica. I've had patients with this, and we fixed them. Ankylosing spondylitis, one of the worst arthritis on the planet. ALS, traumatic brain injury. You can have a trauma, not an infection, but like a physical trauma to the brain, and it, your body's now stuck in, in uh, cell defense response stage three and uh, selective post-stroke syndromes and Hashimoto's thyroiditis. There's more, psoriasis, eczema. These are worse skin conditions than the early ones I showed you when you're stuck in CDR1. Alopecia, so a selective hair loss. Vitiligo, where the skin changes color. Rheumatoid arthritis, osteoarthritis, macular degeneration when the eyes are falling apart. Presbyopia, which is a, related to the vision of your eyes and uh, presbycusis, diabetic neuropathy, diabetic nephropathy, which is uh, kidney failure, and then irritable bowel syndrome. The whole point is to uh, mitigate the damage of the stressor, whether it's you know bug or toxin or injury, and then you're getting to the cause, you're cleaning out the bug, you're cleaning out the toxin, and then you're healing the tissue. In the natural healthcare world, there are multiple systems and they all say the same thing. So there's this from CellCore Biosciences and there's this from one of the uh, people related to CellCore. Here's a company completely unrelated to CellCore and there's two others um, that I can think of plus mine. So right there, there's six systems from different people who have come up with this uh, solution of if you're going to heal your body, remove the stressors and then heal the tissues. And the question is, how good are your products and how good is your diet? It comes down to products and supplements and diet. So the main thing is removing the bad stuff. So removing the initial stressors. Now you can have parasites or mold in your body for years. You can have toxins for years. You can have an exposure to radiation and you didn't know about it when you were a kid and it's still in your body emitting electrons damaging your body for years. So the question is, how good are the products that you're taking to remove the radiation, to remove the parasites and fungus and et cetera, et cetera, and virus, et cetera. So one thing I learned this weekend, and I, I figured this out back in 2007, I thought that 80% of Americans have parasites. At the same time, Dr. Oz on TV said that 90% of Americans have parasites. Well, what I was told this weekend is here's a test to see if you have parasites. So just take your wrist and uh, by your thumb right here on the, the, the thumb side on the in, inner part of your wrist and then feel your pulse. This is your test. Go ahead and do it. Just grab your pulse. And once you feel your pulse, if you have one, then you have parasites. Now, if you don't have one, meaning you're dead, you probably have more parasites. <laughs> and it's been a surprise to me throughout the last 13 years 
that I've eliminated personally a dozen parasites. And then once I went, once I went on a product from Cellcore Biosciences called Para3, I got rid of a dozen parasites in two weeks. And as I use better and better products, it's surprising how many people have parasites. And I've been a parasite detective since 2001. I've had, you know, hundreds of people, maybe into the thousands of people eliminating parasites. But that's getting rid of parasites is actually step two of your healing uh, journey. Step one is right here. It's mitochondrial enhancement and increasing the mitochondrial function. And that's what um, controls this cell defense response cycle right here, is to make sure your mitochondria are working well. And then what's preventing your mitochondria from working well is uh, various uh, uh, factors such as heavy water, deuterium, I did a video about that, parasites, fungus, virus, bacteria, heavy metals, radioactive elements, uh, and chemicals. And so to get this out, you know, we're talking many months to many years. And uh, so anyways, I just want to show you this new way of looking at how your body um, gets sick and then how to recover it. And I just want to share with you that this is the sixth way that I've seen in my career to look at your body, but the solutions are the same. And the question is, um, do you have a good holistic healthcare practitioner that can take care of you and help you through this and, you know, invest your time and energy and effort into this? And uh, like I said, it could take a few years. So if you need our help, uh, I'll put our phone number at the end and you can look below and click on some links and uh, discover more information about how you can get better.